So in the past video I made for this with the JS Banner Unbanned command, it has a lot of problems. We cannot ping the member, it was unstable, and it has some problems during using the command, and it was showing us a lot of console errors. So I decided to make this video for everyone who has problems with it, or they want to make it much more advanced and much more better and much more stable for the ban and unbanned command. And by the way, this is going to include unbanned command as well, which is pretty dope, and I hope everyone is going to be enjoying today's video. And uh, yeah, every code I'm going to do in today's video is going to be linked in the description in a paste bin or whatever, it's just a bin. Make sure to copy and paste, because copy and paste is never going to help you for making your Discord bot. Coding in general is not copy and paste. You just have to go ahead and follow me. I'm going to try my best to explain everything so you won't have any problems with anything in through the video. So without further ado, let's go to the video. So let's go ahead and make the first command. So we're going to go ahead and do make unban command on first. Let's just go and start with ban command. We're just going to go ahead and do if message.content.to lowercase. Uh, we're just going to make it equal equal to equal equal to let's just make it um ban which i'm gonna put a prefix as well in here so there we go so we told it if the command was ban then it's gonna do this stuff by the way it's gonna work with command handler or anybody that you have but in my opinion because i was some people are not still learning command handlers so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this in a code for message event however guys make sure you have the arc system as well that i have right over here don't worry about the prefix one because we don't really need this however in here we have an args and message error so make sure you have you have both of these here so you won't have any problems uh, this is gonna actually help you that you whenever you ping the user or anything like that it's gonna automatically fix your problem and it's gonna be required for sure let reason so we want the reason so the reason is going to be args one and there we go so what does this mean technically? Uh, I'm gonna show you an example in Discord. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, ban, and then mentioning so the member or whatever you wanna call it. With, oh, yeah, I can't type it. Um, uh, something like yeah, I guess or something. This is my friend. Ban and the reason in here. So this is gonna be the arg number one in code, uh, but uh, it's not actually arg number one. It's actually arg number three or two. I should say number two because this is the command and this is the arg number one which is the mention and arg number three which is the reason so we just have to tell the bot that let's reason is going to be arg number two or number one actually so we're going to also make it const it doesn't matter what you put i think const is better because a lot of people like it i guess so let's just go ahead and make the first mention that we do for a member so as you can see i mentioned gavin for it so i'm going to go ahead and tell the bot that the member which is going to be put is going to be either an id or an either a username or either a mention so we're going to do it right now so we're gonna get tell about that let to ban is equal to message that mentions that members that first which is the first which means the first member mentioned in the command in the actual text that we're gonna send uh and the message that guild find that get that cache that get this is i'm gonna get the get the id and this is gonna actually get the to lowercase one so what is this is technically it's gonna go ahead and get the username uh like let's just say i'm not gonna put the mention i'm just gonna put gav which is gav I'm not gonna mention it. So this is gonna automatically find the mention automatically by yourself by himself, which is pretty dope, honestly. And make sure you have this copied. Um, this is just something that uh, is not really, honestly, easy to explain. Is it easy if you want to read it? But uh, it's not something that is gonna be remembered or something. Just make sure you write it somewhere. I also, like I said, I put the link for the code in the description. There we go. So we have the reason and we have the two ban. However, we also tell the bot that if the member has a permission like the person who's gonna ban someone has a permission for banning then let them do it and if not then nah don't do it at all so let's just do it so if the message that member that has permission which you're gonna put also this one this means whenever you put this in your code this means that is not like it doesn't have the ban member permission then and if i remove this this means if the person has the ban permission and if i click on this it means the exclamation mark i guess this means that uh if the user I mean the mem I mean user actually the user of the command doesn't have the permission but if I remove this it has, the has permission so we're gonna click on this and uh, make sure you, I mean I should not click put this so we're gonna go ahead and do this and next thing we're gonna do is equal we're gonna go ahead and do return um, message the channel that send uh, we're gonna send like you need permissions there we go I can't put anything you want it's just something that is not really necessary to uh have some specific text so there we go so next thing we're gonna do is technically we're gonna tell the bot that like let's just say we passed the this area and we set the reason and now we're gonna ban the member also you can tell the bot that if the bot also has message.me i guess message.guild.me my bad guild.me there we go so we told the bot that if the bot doesn't have the permission then it's gonna say bot needs a permission so that's pretty much it. Now we're going to tell the bot that um, 
go ahead and ban the user with the reason that we put for second argument. If you didn't put then, it's gonna tell us that why you didn't put a reason or I'm not gonna require the reason because sometimes whenever you ban someone, you're not gonna put a reason. But if you didn't put the reason, that's gonna say no reason provided. So that's pretty much it. So we're gonna also tell this if, the, if you didn't put the arg number one, it's gonna go ahead and tell this to there was no reason. That's it. So if you didn't put the arg number one, it's gonna tell there was no reason. So that's pretty much it. And now we're gonna deal with this to ban dot ban and reason is gonna be reason which you put it in here. So to ban is gonna be technically the person who's gonna get banned, which we set it in here, and then it's gonna ban it. And if there was a reason, then it's gonna put it. If there was no reason, it's gonna say there was no reason. That's pretty much it. But say forward nothing else. Now we're gonna tell the bot that it's gonna send a message. So we're gonna do message the channel that send. Um, it's gonna send. Um, you have been okay not actually you um let's make it to ban i think it will be better so we're gonna do this kind of thing to ban and then we're gonna go ahead and set this uh has been banned from the server uh reason we're gonna also put a reason so we're gonna do reason and the reason is going to be the reason as we said there we go so that's pretty much it so we banned the user and it's going to tell us that you banned it and stuff like that so i think that's pretty much it guys this is honestly the all you need for the ban command now we're gonna go ahead and test the bot always the important thing is trying it and see it so we're gonna go ahead and there we go it's online now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and check the craft music. Let me check. Oh, there we go. That's test slash craft is online. So I'm gonna go ahead and ban someone here. So the prefix, I thought we didn't have the prefix, which is okay. The command is ban. So we're gonna do ban. And then we're gonna go ahead and ban the. Uh, let's just ban the craft music. And the reason we're gonna put is testing. So we got any errors? Nope, we didn't got anything. So I think I know why it's not working. I think so. So we're gonna go ahead and tell this. Um, oh, because we already have an arc system, then it's gonna be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna make it let uh, CMD is equal to messagery uh, one, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, this was my bad. Sorry, guys. So we're gonna put this on here and then we're gonna make this CMD. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So let's just do note dot and uh, let's just ban it, I guess. Testing. Yep, has been banned from the server, reason testing. So we banned someone here and it was working nuts. So we mentioned it. And also I think now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put any reason. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and don't mention anyone. I'm just gonna put uh, let's ban, I don't know, let's see, ticket bot. Let's ban ticket bot. So we're gonna do ticket bot. There we go. We didn't even mention it and it said there was no reason so we didn't put a reason and we didn't mention it it automatically detected which is a pretty dope system i literally love this one it's so good these nuts so that's pretty much it we ban a ban command now for people who are worried about what i did in here so the cmd i did here is technically i use a messagery however if you have a command handler then you don't need to be worried about this you don't have anything here you just don't you don't, you don't even need this one you just need the code inside of here in your command handler that's it nothing is straightforward also make sure you have the arc system this is the line of the code that you need so i'm gonna make it separate here i'm gonna make a required command handler that is very required actually no it's not a command handler it's uh it's a args system that is very required so that's pretty much it and this is just something that i use i gotta use because i'm in a message event but yeah, that's pretty much it. So now let's go ahead and make an unban command pretty fast. So we're going to copy and paste the same thing. Um, however, there's going to be some stuff. So we are going to go ahead and uh, first we are going to... Okay, so there's a thing. So whenever you ban someone, you got to have their ID to unban them. You cannot mention them, as you know. So we got to get their ID. So for doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and tell the bot that it's a message that cash that gets, I guess. Uh... Yes, so let's just let's just we need we don't we just need this one to unban. So there we go. So it's gonna fetch it, and that's where we're gonna need the arc system. Make sure you have this arc system. Make sure you put it in your code and make sure if there's already args existed and the arc system that you see in your message event is different from mine, replace it with this one. 
or either remove that from the export and just put this on as args1 or something like that. So yeah. So that's pretty much it now. Uh, we told about the two band is gonna user.fetch. So this is gonna fetch and it's gonna get the band people or anything that has uh, happened and give it, get that and it's gonna be the args number one, which is the ID. So uh, also we're gonna take, keep this bot needs permission and you need permission. We probably need this for sure. We don't need a reason for that for sure. And um, okay, my bad. Uh, you, you has been unbanned. Let's just do that. And also because um, it's gonna be different, so we're gonna do add sign, add sign, and there we go. So this is gonna put the ID in here, and once we put the ID here, uh, as you can see, it's gonna mention the ID. So yeah, reason and the reason we don't need the reason as well. We don't need the reason, and now we gotta tell the bot to unban that user. So um, I don't know why I did this. So give me a second. Yep, there we go. Message that guild that members that unban unbanned so to ban and a reason so we don't have a reason actually for the unbanning so but make sure you put this one i don't know why but it's not really required because it's not going to tell you that the user unbanned for this reason but you can, if you want to you can put it you just have to make an arc system um which we already have it so let's just do a note dot it's, it's going to be like the same system that i use in here by the way so let's just go to unbanned and people to be banned actually so let's go ahead and do unban by the way did you change the command Nope, I did not. Oh my god. Unban. So let's just note that. And now unban, we're gonna go ahead and unban ticket bot. So we're gonna copy the ID of the ticket bot. And now where's an error? So what is the error? Message error before initialization. Oh, what is wrong with that? Oh my bad. So <laughs> so I gotta put the CMD after all of this. Um my bad. I gotta put this because i I should define it before the CMD. So Let's just save this off my bad guys i don't know why i've done this so there we go we're gonna unban the user now again another error reason is not defined so yeah okay so i guess we gotta put the reason if you don't want to just have to go to remove it so i'm gonna put a reason just for being like better for i guess so let's just do this yeah now let's just do no no dot and now let's just unban it and you can also put a reason i'm gonna say nope you're actually not Banned, bro. As in unbanned from the server. Oh, it's all gonna. That's dope. It's gonna automatically ping it, so we don't need to actually um, put anything for pinging. So, yeah, we unbanned him, and now he can join. He can also unban as long as you as anything that you want, uh, with any problems. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any problems, comment down below or join to our Discord server. Link in the description. I help a lot of people on my Discord server, and we. We are like a thousand and a hundred people on Discord, so we're like a thousand and two hundred. I'm not, I haven't checked it today, but uh, yeah, thank you guys again for all of your support, all of your watching. Every time that you're watching my videos, it's gonna support me a lot. Um, please make sure to subscribe and like the video, it will help me a lot to make more videos. I like this, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you next video, guys. Peace out. This is Dashcraft, and I'm out. I like it. <laughs> 朋友是一个坚韧不拔的纪律。